Hey everybody, I'm Seth, welcome to Fitness Tested. Today we're reading the Saucony Tempest version two. One, two, three, four. So this is the second iteration of this shoe. Uh, the version one is actually very similar, so people who like this shoe are actually gonna be very pleased with this. Um, so I personally ran through about 10 pairs version one. Um, it was my long run shoe. I use it for some workouts, use it for some easy runs. I use it for just about everything. Um, and I am very pleased with version two. I honestly was a little scared because they changed the upper. I like that the version one ran a little bit wider through the forefoot, had a lot of room in there. Um, I was very worried that the version two wouldn't have that, but I was very surprised, pleasantly surprised that it does. Um, I ran a 20 mile long run this last weekend in it and I never felt like I was cramped, anything like that. Had a lot of room in there. Um, Honestly, I would say the fit is better version one, which is really cool. Um, one thing with version two or version one is it did gain a little bit of weight with this new upper. Um, it is engineered woven mesh upper, so it is a little bit thicker than the version one with that, it's just gaining a little bit of weight, which is, which is fine. I didn't notice the difference. Um, the fit overall is a little bit more snug, but not narrower. Um, kind of fit my foot a little bit better, which was super nice. But I will say everything from the foot down is exactly the same as version one. So that's kind of nice. You have the um, the Power Run PB foam and the heel and the toe, which is a super soft, bouncy feeling foam. And then you have a frame of a more dense Power Run foam that kind of runs around from the toe, around the heel, and then a bigger kind of a slab of it here through the arch as well. So a lot of support. Um, it's very... I guess not aggressive stability, pretty mild stability for people who tend to need that um, for your mild upper pronators, um, which is super nice. But even people who, who need a little bit more stability can definitely use this as a, as a long run shoe or kind of a specialized shoe in addition to something else as well. So one common complaint with this shoe in the version one was it had a very high arch and just didn't hit people quite in the right spot, kind of like a lump in the shoe. I will say that has not changed version two since everything from the foot down is the same it does feel the same in the arch. Um, so I recommend trying it on to see if that works for your foot. Um, but if it didn't work in the version one, unfortunately it's still working in the version two. Um, I didn't feel a difference with the arch at all in the version two, it feels exactly the same. So worth trying it on to kind of see how it fits your foot. So the weight in this shoe is an 8.4 ounces for men, 9.2 for women. Um, so definitely on the lighter side of things, especially as far as the issues, it's a lot on the lighter side. So it's super nice to have an option for those stability runners who need kind of a lighter option or want kind of a lighter option for their longer runs. It's a great option for that. Also something that I really like about the shoe as a stability runner myself is a lot of stability shoes tend to feel very bulky, blocky, just kind of heavy and not fun to run in. This shoe is not that way. With that power run PB foam in the heel and toe, it does have a lot of pop to it. It almost feels like it has a plate. It doesn't have a plate, but it has a lot of that pop to it. You feel like you're just ready to go faster. It's a really fun shoe. So for anybody who needs that or has want that option as far as a stability shoe, it's, it's really fun. So I ran through a bunch of pairs of the version one of this shoe. And I honestly was very pleasantly surprised about the durability of the shoe. So they had, like I said, they didn't change about anything from the foot down. So they had the same exact rubber pattern, same rubber, everything on the ground. Um, so when I first got the shoe, I was kind of nervous that it would wear down. There's not a lot of rubber there. But honestly, it, it felt up very great. I put up to 400 miles on one pair of them and, and the, I didn't notice much dirt or not much wear there. So it's a shoe you can definitely handle a, lot, or a lot of miles. You can take a lot of miles. Um, durability is not a concern at all with this shoe. So this shoe runs at 160. You can find it in store or online at shop.fitnesssports.com.